Hi, this is Lorenzo Valentino of the Italian death doom metal band Silver, and you are listening to The Bloodshed with the Vampire on Metal Messiah Radio International. Lorenzo, thank you very much for taking time out for this interview, and I want to welcome you to The Metal Bloodshed with the Vampire on Metal Messiah Radio International. Okay, thank you. It's so great to have you here. It's a pleasure for me, and a special thanks to you, Jacobo, and Metal Messiah Radio for this interview. It's a very pleasure for me. Lorenzo, you joined Silver in 2015 as the band new guitarist, but you also are members of Last Resistance, an alternative metal core from yes. your hometown of Brindisi and yes. the Ghost of Mary, a symphonic death metal band also from the same town as well, especially for your new fans to get to know you a little bit more Who is Lorenzo Valentino? How did you get to become a metal musician? And how did you manage to be a member of those bands we just mentioned? And are you still playing with them? Oh, okay. <laughs> so <laughs> just before starting, I say sorry for my English because I don't speak it very often. <laughs> so let's start by this. <laughs> I'm sure you're doing great. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> so, uh, how I decided to become a guitarist and how I joined these two bands. I started playing guitar when I was like 11, maybe, at the middle school. At the end of the middle school, uh, I was still interested in the study of guitar. So, I decided to have lessons with some uh, teachers. And this is just a passion, maybe the biggest passion in my life, I can say. And between these three bands I play with, I started playing Less Resistance. So it's the first band I joined between the three bands. This is a metalcore band or like, yeah, metalcore or uh, melodic death metal as regards the latest songs. This is a band formed with my historical friends, <laughs> we can say, in the November of 2013. And we made two works. And a demo and an EP called uh, War Painted Grey. We play live and we are working on the new album. Ghost of Mary is the latest band I joined in. I guess in the end of the 2018, yes, in October or November. This is, as you said, symphonic death metal band that I liked so much before I joined the band. Um, there are many styles in uh, the music of Ghost of Mary. I can say that we are working on the new album called Oblivion Part 2. That is the following chapter of the first work called Oblivion Part 1, of course. We are gonna finish the record session, especially as regards the vocals. I think that very soon you will have news about this uh, new album. Okay, thank you very much for this little description of your career as a metal musician and becoming uh, the band's new guitarist. I mean, both bands we talk about, Last Resistance and Ghost of Mary. Talking about the band that we are here for, um, Silver, formed in March 2007 in Legend, Italy. The name yes. derived from a silver key of the exactly. Oniric world created by H.P. Lovecraft. Lyrics are inspired by literature, visions, and nightmare. Yes. Very electric music, melodic death metal with growling, screaming, and clean vocals that has incorporated progressive rock, gothic element, and piano and acoustic guitar interludes. Lecce is a city in the Italian southern Apulia region. Yes. It's known for its baroque building in the center of Piazza del Dumo. The Cathedrale di Lecce has a double facade and a bell tower. The Basilica de Santa Croce features sculptures and a rose window. Nearby are the Sant Rosno column, a Roman column topped with a bronze statue of the city patron saint and a sunken Roman amphitheater. Lorenzo, how do you see the metal scene in Lecce and Brindisi since you are coming from there and in Apulia and in Italy in general nowadays? Okay, very nice question, I can say. So, actually, here in Apulia, especially in the very south part of, we say, Puglia, Apulia, 
there are not many bands, fortunately. We have a lot of very nice bands, underground bands, very, very nice. But unfortunately, there are not so many bands because uh, music pubs doesn't work so much with metal and the music in general. This is not a great period, in my opinion, for music, especially for our place. But there are uh, so many metalheads or people who follow music, uh, of course, uh, and fortunately. So there are not so many events but we have are so lucky to have people that follow and uh, some support the underground in uh, Italy, Italy we have very nice scene I can say we have some very special bands like um, I don't know Hour of Penance, Laguna Coil or Flesh God Apocalypse I'm sure that you know these names yes and there are many great events i can say especially in the north of italy and the center both yes maybe the south uh, has no many events uh, unfortunately but regard the entire italy we have a very strong uh, scene uh, underground and uh, even mainstream well, why not i believe that the metal scene has uh, grown up very much in the last years i mean talking about as you said laguna coil um, rhapsody yes. elven King, you have all these bands, look at the really great form, Theaters of the uh, Vampires, November, all these great bands that, you know, there's a lot of more bands that I cannot even remember right now, but I have to congratulate you guys for having all these great bands exporting the Italian metal scene or Italian metal music worldwide. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Uh, Lorenzo, as we just said, you joined Silver in 2015 as the band and new guitarist. How did you feel becoming the band's new guitarist at the time? Who did you replace? And if you don't mind, could you please present us the band's current lineup? So I felt very nice when I was asked to join Silver, just because I was a great fan of Silver. I remember that since I was you know 15 or 16 i heard to silver music so for me it was just a pleasure and an honor for me the previous guitarist k was one of the original members of silver who found silver and this guitarist called luca mazzotta so i became the rhythm guitarist i can say but maybe rhythm is not the correct term because we switch between lead and rhythm guitar between me and giuseppe the other guitar so maybe i can say only guitarist okay if you don't mind could you present us the current band lineup yeah sure okay at vocals we have daniele rini the only original member of this band then we have giuseppe ferilli that i mentioned before that plays guitar it plays in silver since 2011 maybe then we have his brother carlo ferilli on drums he started playing Silver since 2012, if I remember good. Then the latest member is Simone Jacobelli, which plays bass guitars, and he joined the band in 2019, so it's very... Recent. Yes, Recently. exactly. Okay, okay. Uh, one question, the band's uh, former drummer, Mauro, is he uh, related to you? No, 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 I didn't play with Mauro. Uh, okay, he's Lorenzo, <laughs> you're Lorenzo by name. <laughs> okay. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, to continue with this interview, the band play more than 200 live shows, often acoustic performances under the light of candles and released music for your sleepless night mini cd 2007 the unplugged night live recorded live 3rd may 2008 and dying light promo cd 2008 silver appeared in the imago sound creative compilation volume one including the unreleased track another leaf comes down Acoustic Reprise 2009 in the World Demons 2009, including Helpless Soul 2009 and the Hard Sounds Compilation Volume 2, including Winter's 
Carries 2012. During 2010, the band recorded the first full length album called Grief of Deception and based on the Lovecraftian horror fantasy tale La Storia di Brian Empty, written by Daniel Rini, is a concept album on the incapacity to accept reality as it perceived. It describes a personal inner struggle, a gloomy journey through soul's orientation in a real world and the darkness on the Oneiric dimension. The band even released three video clips for the songs The Silent Moon and The Set Eyed Liar and The Descent. Lorenzo, this question might not be a right uh, question for you since you was not part of the album as yet, but you can give us an answer. Please go ahead. How was the album being accepted and what can you tell us about it and have the band done a tour in Italy or around Europe to support this album? So, this album, the previous one you mentioned called The Grave of Deception, was very valued by everyone who have listened to it. As I mentioned before, I was a fan of Silver and I like so much this work, but maybe I cannot say anything. <laughs> I can say only that I remember just some friends who talked about this album and they very appreciated this album I cannot say other facts because I was not in the band so I don't know actually if uh, there was a tour um, supporting uh, this album or something like this honestly okay okay it's okay yes uh, I know the band have done a lot of shows around Italy and I guess you know in between the release of this album and uh, 2016 I believe all the shows has to do with the promotion of this album still To continue with this interview, Lorenzo, the band's brand new album, Six Hours, eight years after its predecessor, Grave Deception. How come the band waited eight long years to release another album? Okay, this is another good question. <laughs> okay, so the main reason behind this long gap, this is the many changes of the lineup. The band's brand new album album six hours released on march 6 2020 via solitude production bad mood man music lorenzo don't you mind to present us the album a track and list please okay so let's start with the topic before i talk in deep okay so the topic of this new album six hours is about the inquisition of a woman for witchcraft Okay, so the inspiration was for this topic was taken by the academic studies of Daniele because he graduated and he made some studies on this fact because this album tells about a real story, of course, not on all the events and the scenes described by um, songs are are uh, really are real okay there are many songs that are uh, created story okay not everything is real of course but the woman truly existed in uh, our region because is a apulian woman really existed we talk about 18th century so we can start with the very first track this is an instrumental track of course so we cannot say more about this song so the first track six hours introduced the album Then we find from a letter of sorrow in this song, she tells about her sorrow, of course, as regards the solitude, the hunger, something about her work, because she was a nun initially. And she talks about the very hard condition of her life. Okay, and uh, for this reason, it, this song is called From a Letter of Sorrow. Then we can switch to the second, Ti Faccio Regina. Ti faccio regina is an Italian sentence that is like, I make you my queen. So it okay. talks about the devil that knocks three times at her door just to, <laughs> yeah, just to ask if she needs something. And it talks about people of lower condition, okay, and 
their desire to find a uh, social elevation. And so the devil asked her if she needed something. And she, of course, at the third time says, yes, okay, I need something. <laughs> and so, <laughs> yes. And so he made her a queen. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I can say that nobody in the band is satanist or something like this. Nobody. This is only a study. Okay. Made by Daniele. So he wanted to insert, okay, these studies into this work. I think just for um, let the people know. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so let's talk about the third uh, song, uh, Stigma Diaboli. Of course, uh, this talk about the possession, about her. So the devil has her soul, nothing more. And this is uh, acoustic, an acoustic song. It's uh, pretty different from the other songs of the album. It's very characteristic. Okay, so let's switch and go to the fifth, Violent Circles. Yeah, yeah. Um, the is number four. Yeah, four. Yes. The topic of this song is okay. It's a kind of metaphor for the Sabba. Okay. So what happened during this meeting? Okay. Which meeting? Daniele has taken some elements from its academic studies. So violent circles was some circles. Okay, that were created during this kind of meeting. So let's go to the sixth song, When Heaven Turns Into Hell. You can find the official video on YouTube, of course, you can say this. Okay, When Heaven Turns Into Hell. It talks about, even about Sabbath, but in uh, another way. So it talks about the duality of the two words, okay? Both heaven and hell, and not as regard, you know, the main meaning of these words, but about the hell, so the hard condition of life of this woman, okay? By the other end, we have heaven, so what she could uh, reach with the help of the devil, okay? Something like this. Then we have in tempeste noctis silencio. This is the very end of the story, even uh, if this is not the last song of the album. At the very very end of the story, this woman in uh, the middle of the night goes into a forest and uh, suicided, uh, kill herself because the pain was so much for uh, this story. The next, the following song is the Swan Song Part 1. This is a kind of flashback of the story because the story uh, ended. And this is a flashback. So we have uh, the women, but when he were, even uh, she was a kid. And she was in front of a lake, front uh, of a black swan, and that's why uh, Swan Song. And she was alone. The other kids was playing uh, at the other side of the shore. And she uh, is looking at this swan and the uh, black weather that is coming in. Nothing more. We have the very last song called Swan Song Part 2. This is another um, instrumental song that closes, the, that ends the album. Nothing that's all about the um, topic and songs. Lorenzo. I want to thank you very much for describing us the album track and list.
After eight years of silence, here's the silver new album called Six Hours, an incredible concept about witchcraft, a history of sorrow and damnation based on two events of inquisition period, almost six minutes of doom death metal with dark power full melodies. Special guests on the album were Carmelo Orlando on uh, Violent Circles and Fabio Fresini on Swamp Song Part 2. Yes. Both from the progressive metal, doom metal, gothic metal, Tallinn band, November. Yes. Um, so how come you guys decided to add these great talented musicians to the album and how was it working with them so the main reason behind this collaboration collaboration yes is because we estimate so much them as musician and we love november's music too of course we can say too that our uh, members Giuseppe and Carlo Ferilli the brothers are playing now with November uh, I think about two years or three maybe they play live with November band so knew them and that's how we could have them on our uh, CD okay but how was it working with them it was of course a great experience of course we were not in, in loco okay uh, we were in the south of Italy and they were at their own studio so we worked in this way But of course, as regard the instrumental part or even uh, something about vocals, uh, if I remember well, they could work together, the brother, Berferilli brothers, because of course they were uh, rehearsing with the uh, November band, so they could have closer meeting. In uh, 2015 began the long work of composition and pre-production of the new album Six Hours, officially recorded between 2017 and 2018. It is an ambitious and a challenging concept focused on a powerful and obscure sound, thanks to To the composition of the Faridi brothers and with lyrics that are directly inspired by the academic studies conducted by Daniele Rini on the phenomenon of witchcraft. The band's debut album, Grief Deception, was recorded at Stu Studio in Lecce, Italy, and the other sound studio, Rome, Italy, mixed at the other sound studio by Giuseppe Orlando, who also worked with November, Stormlord, and many more. Master at Finn Fox Studio in Helsinki, Finland, by Miki Jusila, who also worked with Amorphis Sentence, Children of Bottom, a hymn, Apocalyptica, and more. Yes, Lorenzo. Yes. How was, I mean, everything gone with making of this new album? I'm talking about six hours in general. And has it been mixed, mastered, and recorded the same way as I just said, like you did with Grief Deception? No, all the processes were different. All the parts, so mix, master, and something like this were uh, made by only one person, an engineer called Angelo Buccolieri that made all these works okay so he both mixed and mastered we can start from drums drums were recorded in Ferilli's own studio with the help of another engineer called Angelo Litti that is audio engineer from Lecce and they worked together as regard the drums recording session let's talk about guitar and bass recording session so we recorded at our home studio I recorded my guitars in my home studio and the same for Giuseppe uh, and the bass guitar that were uh, recorded by Giuseppe and Carlo Ferilli both in their own studio. As regard the vocals, Daniele recorded at uh, New Star Rex Studio, the studio, a uh, property of Angelo Buccolieri that I mentioned before, and that's how we recorded our album. Of course, uh, regarding the guest recording session, they made their own uh, recording session in a different studio. As regard the uh, mixing session, of course, we worked with Angelo, our engineer, by computer session because uh, he is not anymore here in Lecce. He's in Tenerife, so the only way was to work at distance. He made a very, very nice work. We are so happy of how the work sound. 
And that's how we produced our um, Six Hour album. The band's brand new album, Six Hours, released on March 6, 2020, via Solitude Production, Bad Mood Man Music. How is everything going with the record label in promotion and support of this new release? And in how many format is this new album available? So this album is available in very different solutions. Of course, we have the physical CDs. Okay, you can order them by sending a message to our Facebook or Instagram page or even from Bandcamp. You can find uh, even the digital form of the entire album on Bandcamp. The record label, how you see they are promoting, uh, how they are supporting this album. Okay, they are uh, promoting six hour albums on their own channels. You can find it on their own site, on uh, their uh, YouTube page. We are kind of thinking about new promoting stuff like live, uh, but this is another uh, question, I guess. My concern is, is the band happy? Are you guys satisfied? I mean, after a couple weeks, how this album is being handled, being promotion worldwide via your label so we are uh, happy about feedback that we are receiving from uh, this album especially as regards the video on YouTube and we are uh, waiting for some reviews uh, sites and um, radio something like this we are just waiting for uh, other uh, feedback but we are happy as regard the feedback that we are receiving now from the label yes exactly okay uh, talking about a uh, video Lorenzo the band to have premiere on October 30, 2019, the lyric video for the song When Heaven Turns Into Hell. What can you share with us about this video? And will there are more video to follow? I can say that the entire video was realized by Carlo Ferilli, our drummer, that made very, very nice work. And I can say, of course, we are thinking about a new video, but there are many ideas. We are just thinking about what and how do all the ideas that we have right now. There are available other videos online as regards some singles from the previous album, Grave of Deception, I can say, like Winter's Caress, as you mentioned before, and other songs too. But talking about the new ones, I mean, besides this one, When Heaven uh, Turned Into Hell, for the other songs on the album, will there be more videos to be made? Maybe. I cannot answer for sure, but there are so many ideas, so okay. maybe. <laughs> Okay, let's hope, let's hope, because I really love uh, the previous videos that the band released uh, for the album, the debut album, and plus the one here, the one oh, when heavens turned into hell. I really highly recommend uh, to all of you out there, if you haven't seen this video as yet, please give it a look, uh, give it a try, and also when uh, you see this video, I'm sure that you will give the band a like, you will follow this band, and you will sure support them, and go by this brand new album. Continue with this interview. Last year, 2019, the band showed to the world the cover artwork of the new album, an incredible drawing by Daniele Serra, a talented Italian illustrator and an awesome comic book artist. His work fits perfectly to the theme of and music of Six Hours concept. Daniel's illustrations have been included in books by Stephen King and Ramsey Campbell, and he provided the art for graphic novels, uh, working with authors like Clive Baker, Marcelo Fuaz, and others. His work includes over 250 books covers for publishers from around the world, as well as artworks from various musicians, releases like For Shining, Wump Scott, and uh, so Hideous. Uh, Daniel's illustrations have been used as the set dressing of the film adaptation of Stephen King's Cell, directed by Todd Williams, whose idea was set to work with Daniel Serra, and how did you got in touch with him and are you guys happy with the outcome okay so firstly we are very happy as regard the picture okay uh, that we uh, used on six hours we are very happy 
Daniela is a very great illustrator. And so how could we choose it? So uh, we was wondering, okay, and searching by checking different artists. Okay, uh, we were uh, trying to choose an illustrator that fits our uh, tastes and that could fit the theme the uh, object of uh, the album and when we checked out all the works okay of Daniele Serra we were like okay this is the man we uh, must have an illustration of this man uh, we must because his style is uh, very very nice and fits very nice what the atmosphere of our album so that's why we chose him and of course we work not in loco with him because if I remember well he lived in Sicilia another Italian region so we We worked in distance, not in logo, but he made a very, very nice work, we can say. Okay, yes, I must say a very, very great album cover work. What's an incredible work done by Daniela Serra. I congratulate you guys for, you know, have uh, this great opportunity to work with him. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, Lorenzo, yes, uh, almost reaching at the end of uh, this interview from uh, the very first tones to the new work by the Italian band Silver demonstrated high skills of musicians and carefully crafted material, original music at intersection of melodic death metal and melodic doom is filled with powerful energy and real feeling. Two special guest members the famous November band took a part in the album recording Carmelo Orlando on vocals and Fabio Ricini on bass. A beautifully designed booklet was created by Daniel Serra, a professional illustrator and the winner of Fantasy British Prize, who work were parts of a numerous exhibition in the US and Europe. Lorenzo talking about festivals and show. I know there is a lot of cancellation of big festival and show for the COVID-19 issue. Let's hope this nightmare finish ends very soon. What show have the band pending and what else will the band be doing this year in support of the band's new album Six Hours. As you mentioned before, there is this big issue of uh, coronavirus and of course many shows were cancelled. Even our only show, okay, in Salento, so in our region. But we will recover this during the next month for sure. As I said, mm, this is the only show for now that we have, but we are working on new gigs all over the Italy and maybe be even uh, farther so uh, we are just working on new shows but for all the people who live in our region or south of Italy and are interested in uh, see this band playing live you have just to uh, keep on uh, visit our um, Facebook page in order to know where we can have new uh, shows. <laughs> okay, thank you very much, Lorenzo. I want to thank you very much, Lorenzo, once again, to have made this interview possible. And I want to hand you over the microphone of Madame Messiah Radio International for you to invite all your friends, all your fans to support the band, to buy the band's debut album, Grief Deception, and to really take a look at this brand new masterpiece This brand new album, Six Hours, yes, to to put their hands on, you know, support the band. Go buy this album. This album, I hear it completely, and it's fantastic. It's mm -hmm. what I can mm -hmm. say. It's brilliant, this album. I love it. Even though, you know, I have listened a little bit, a couple songs of the older album, Grave Deception, is also tremendous. It's cruel, the songs on this album as well. So support this band, Silver, and buy the band's album, the debut album, Grave Deception. And it's a brand new masterpiece. After eight long years, the band is back, so we have to be happy. We have to congratulate them to have a new release out. So We have to support them as well. So, I mean, you need to have this album in your collection. Six hours. Okay. But talking about merchandises, uh, Lorenzo, are there merchandises already available? Thanks. Thanks so much for uh, everything. Thank you so much. Okay. So, yes, as regards merchandise, uh, for now, only th physical copies of uh, the CDR variables. We are working about new stuff, you know, like T-shirt or um, something like this. Unfortunately, 
Council, we have not available this kind of items now, but we are working on. I want to thank you, Jacobo. Thank you so much. You and all the staff of Metal Messiah Radio. As regards your listeners, I want to thank, of course, even them, because all the listeners, the supporters of metal, of music in general, they are the fuel of all this universe as regards our kind of music, the underground universe. And only with the support of these listeners, we can go on and continue doing what we do and what we love to do. So thank you all. Thank you very much, Lorenzo. So thank you guys for keep doing metal. Making an album is not something easy. You know, it takes a lot of time. It takes a lot of effort. So mm-hmm. we highly thank you very much for you and the band for keep doing this great music, for keep doing metal. But Lorenzo, before we leave, I'd like to say hello to the bands, to Daniels. Please say hello to Daniel for me. Say hello to Giuseppe for me. Say hello to Carlo for me. Say hello to Simon for me. Okay? Yes, yes, of course, of course. <laughs> Without anything else to say, like always say, metal on. (laughs) Bye-bye. Okay, thank you, and let's keep metal alive. (laughs) Okay, take care. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Goodbye, Jacob.